Hey everyone, I'm Zach. I'm Lewin. And we're from the Unqualified Quokkas. We're here to tell you about our robot today. So uh, we'll start with strategy. Uh, Lewin, could you grab the disc? This <laughs> is <laughs> So on the mechanical, um, we decided early on that it was pretty important to be able to shoot in both the high goal and be able to dump into the amp. And that ground intaking would also be quite an important part of the game. Uh, to achieve all of this, and to keep it all simple, we decided to have an arm. Uh, it's basically the key to this whole operation. Uh, it allows us to pick up off the ground, shoot into the high, and deliver into the low, um, all while keeping us with a low center of gravity and able to go under the stage to dodge any defense. So we decided to integrate both the intake and the shooter into one simple package. Um, we have our double roller bottom and top on the intake which will feed the ring in off of the ground. Then we have our middle roller here to support the ring and hold it before it goes into the shooter. Then we spin up our shooter and the middle ring pushes it into the flywheels, allowing us to kind of control when we shoot it. So with our climber, we wanted to have something as simple as possible just mounted to the arm. When we tried to climb, we had our hook location pretty much here. When we climbed though, our center of gravity was way too far back. And so we twisted and the bumpers on the back were running against the ground. We knew that we couldn't really change the height of this um, hook when we climbed to attach onto the chain because it comes in about here. So we had to find a way to move the hook. Now we didn't want to add an extra motor because we didn't want to make it any more complex than we had to. So we hooked up a string on a linear slide so that when the arm comes down, the string gets shorter because of the cam kind of 10 inch wheel that we've put on the axle and it pulls the hook down so that once we've climbed we've actually shifted our climb point that means that our center of gravity is now close enough to the hook that our back bumper does not scrape against the ground and we count for a climb so the design of this robot has made it really simple for the control systems and autonomous Basically, because we have the intake on the front side and it shoots out the back side, uh, it means that we, in our autonomous routine, we can just drive back and forth between the speaker and the discs and we don't have to turn around. That also helps because we don't need to add extra sensors. We can just do it by time. Uh, so for the intake, we have this uh, reflectometer here. So when the disc goes into view, the reflectometer activates. When it comes out, it deactivates. That's when we know the disc is in there so it can stop. With the shooting, we have a limelight down here. The limelight gives us left and right as well as up and down. And the up and down we can turn into a distance. And based on the distance, which is another awesome thing about this robot architecture, is that we can adjust the angle of the arm to adjust the angle of our shot. So if we're really far away, we can bring the arm lower, and if we're really up close, we can bring the arm really low to get that high lob shot. That pretty much sums it up. Zach, myself, and the rest of the Quokkas, wish you a great season and good luck. Good luck.